places for the show. Oh, where is my bank account? Um, over there. No, I'm going to take you back to the flat. Yeah, morning. but you need to sign that's your cell phone before the show begins. Oh, that's not good. Oh, hi, I'm just going to take a message from Mrs. Peacock. And lastly, I'd like to point you to your playing forms and your programs. Um, you should have each received a program with the playing form and a pencil to take notes. There are, are, there are a few minor, small clues throughout the show, but the main clues that you as an audience need to pay attention to throughout the show will be given to you when the house lights come up. So, just like that, yes. That way there's no confusion on what is important to pay attention to and such like that. Um, and we invite you to play along. It's a lot of fun. We've had a, we've had a, a, a very successful and fun run of this show so far. Um, and lastly, um, if you were incredibly smart and solved the murder um, before anybody else, we ask that you please don't spoil it for your fellow audience members. Um, we want everybody to enjoy the game to their to the fullest and want people to enjoy it at their own speed and their own pace. So please, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy Clue the Musical. <laughs> Go for 
quite a book one about the government and the oil affairs. For a handsome fee. Of course, I agree. As Somerset Mom says, money is like a sixth sense. You can't make use of the other five without it. To mastermind a crime is quite fulfilling. To execute was never my strong suit. The masterminds, they always get top billing. The corpses and nameless body plainly dressed to food. Pyramids. 
We're going to protect them from the elements by covering them with vinyl siding. What a concept! Sandstone colored siding that blends into the stone. So you don't even know it's there. I'm a genius. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, in this 
this envelope is the key to our destiny. For in it lies the answer to the mystery. We find ourselves in an interesting place. For the ending is chosen before we begin. What then is the objective from a player's perspective? To solve the mystery and ultimately win. Your goal is to figure out what's in the arc, who done it, with what weapon, in what room. You arrive at this conclusion by deducing the solution clues that I will give you on the screen. There are two rounds of clues that will assist you. Before my death, round one. After round two. Participation in the game is purely by choice. If you play, use the playing form you have received. Document the information you receive from each clue, and eliminate items with no value received. Thus, you find where, how, and who. Our theater lights will assist in your endeavor, so when they light, heed my reports with pleasure. We'll be anxious to see at the end of the game if your answer and ours are one and the same. Now, we start on our journey to arrive at this end, to all suspicious doings, diligently attend. Round one begins in the kitchen with shrieks of woe from a disgruntled worker, less friend than foe. <laughs> Life is a bone of peace. 
But treat me like someone when it freezes up in hell. He's got no gratitude, he's got me all unglued. I fear I'll stab instead of slice. I'll hack instead of dice. I'll bludgeon the beast too. I'll make horse worth the weight. We master on a plate. Chop this, trim the fat. Yeah. 
Some cocktail. You want one? How about something uh, a little less complicated, like a uh, glass of water? Oh, well, there's none bottled and the tap in here is broken. Wine. Mr. Body always has a decent bottle of wine lying around somewhere. Oh, in the cellar.
Yes. Dinner. Clue number five. Plum, white, study, road. Do any of these offer you hope? One of the four in the answer exists, but maybe there's an unexpected twist. The conservatory we visit now, here there's a saga of vow after vow. My dear, I insist that we conclude our conversation from earlier. I don't like your tone. Well, I don't like your reckless escapade. <laughs> I have an insatiable spirit. Hmm. Let me inform you, my dear, that I will not tolerate your display of frivolous abandon. Let me inform you, my dear, that you may not have
conservatory, where Peacock's tale is every man's story. It certainly could house the deadly deed, but the cards have not given us that exact meaning. Now, we waltz, so my guests will know that I have no qualms with my potential foe. Murder is fate, not by chance, and is now set in motion with a dance.
murderer. Oh, Mr. Body's death was probably caused of natural causes. You know, car failure, dice trauma, whatever. I think I'll be on my way. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, detective. A, a killer is a select individual. Someone with style. I breathe style. I have a feeling all you breathe is fire. A killer is stout-hearted. Just call me the Brolter. I never waver. I never flinch. I ah! The mark of force that executes a murder is an extraordinary one. Immense intellect, superior IQ. Consider me. I know me. A killer requires creativity, passion. It's an art, and I'm an artist. I work with Minsky's Mongols. Ooh, and what do you do with those Mongols? Well, actually, don't answer that. <laughs> a killer is a sharp strategist. Sharp. That's me. Sharp as a thin. Yeah. A killer is unique. Detective, I. You certainly are, but let's stick to the subject of murder, shall we? Very good, detective. Huh? You, you never mind. So, these little piggies are innocent. Oh, these little piggies are not. Mm -hmm. Well, one of these little piggies is going to go wee, wee, wee all the way home, because I'm sticking around, and I'm going to figure this out. I suspect each of you had motive to want Mr. Body dead, and I'm going to want to question you. All of you. Huh. Hey, if you think you're looking at a killer, clean the wax out of your ears, huh? <laughs> hey, now I'm in charge, and I'm going to huff, and I'm going to puff, and I'm going to make sure that one of you gets light. Behind <laughs> bars?
present to you the first clue of round number two. Focus on where the deed was executed, when to calm my vigor was transmuted, the room which housed the deliberate act, at misunderstanding, fun, and fact. The suspects now learn the detective is quite effective and far more clever than they ever thought she would be. Ten fifty-five. 
I to the billiard rooms and spend with playing drunk pool, 11. And I to take ball rooms to get to the beat off the balcony, 11 or 5. I to go to the study at 1023 for a romantic rendezvous with Mrs. Peacock. And I took it to the kitchen for a late snack, 11.15. I took the revolver to the lounge, 11.20. Oh, and then I hid it in the billiard room at 11.22. I had it in the ballroom, 24. And I took the kitchen, 26. I had it in the study, 28. I took the lounge, 30. Right. To the billiard room. Conservatory. The study. The ballroom. The lounge. Ranch. In the kitchen. Billiard room. Study. The ballroom. The lounge. Yeah. In the billiard room. Ballroom. Lounge. Hi. Kitchen. Study. Lounge. Re the conservatory. Lounge. Ranch. Study. Lounge. Candlestick. Lounge. Revolver. Lounge. Rope. Lounge. Knife. Lounge. Hi. Lounge. 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 Ranch. Lounge. Candlestick. Lounge. Knife. Lounge. Knife. Revolver. Rope. Ranch. Candlestick. Pipe. Knife, revolver, rope, wrench, handlestick, pipe, knife, revolver, rope. Most people, if they're cautioned, Thomas Wolfe, 
He has no desire for which he feels no want. Euripides. The only way to be rid of temptation is to yield to it. Ask a while. I desire only to know the truth. Euripides. Beauty is true. Truth, beauty. That is all you need to know. Peace. Let one be on guard against those who flatter and mislead. Aristotle. Make yourself necessary for somebody. Emerson. Be not simply good. Be good for something. For Rome. Oh. Oh. Oh?
snake. No, I'm a Democrat. <laughs> you were business partners in Mr. Body's own several ventures, and with the one in Vegas, he swindled you out of a bundle. Well, that's just the way the cookie bounces, huh? With colossal nips and tucks, the roles were reversed. It was your turn. You were duped about hundreds of thousands of dollars. He found out, he threatened you, and you killed him. Look, the money was mine. I know because I never got my chickens before they crossed the sidewalk. And babe, if you think I'm a killer, you're trying to fit a round peg into a bread box, huh? Cheats and thieves from color crime. That's just nickel and dime. Check my color.
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the final clue of round number two. The game continues, not yet complete, deducing the answer no easy feat. The suspect you should scrutinize has brazen moves and sparkling eyes.
in shock. answer and ours are one and the same. Please, rise in your place with a smile on your face if you get the right weapon and Let's have a round of applause. Attending to my 
every need. And thank you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 